Hi guys. It's been a long time since we posted a video and I am so sorry for that. You know, this year has been kind of crazy. So I'm going to be getting new videos out. I'm going to try to do two a week at least so that we can start sharing again because we missed you guys. It's been hard and there's been a little bit of guilt not getting stuff out there. So come on, we're going to give you an update. The farm looks really different if you take a look at our last video to now. So it may be a little bit of a shock. <laughs> it was nice and lush and beautiful summer when I last posted. And now where it's middle of December, and even though I'm not wearing a jacket, it's in the 40s, 50s today in Vermont. We're having a very mild fall. So come on, let's go check out and see what the chickens are doing this afternoon. Hey, quick reminder guys, if you like what you're seeing, please subscribe, like, and share our videos. We would really appreciate it. Thanks. Is anybody in here? Nope. What you guys doing? Hi, Ozzy. Yes, that's a pretty, very pretty shavings. Thank you. Is everybody out here? Where is everybody? Oh, the other girls must be in the flock. Hi, handsome. So Ozzy is the dark boy right there. He, this is his flock. There's only half of them out here. The little spotted white girl, that is Daisy. And then there's Amandola and Edie over there. Edie's the one with the beard. So she's the buff that's closest to us. And that's Amandola over there by the board. Hi, handsome boy. Oh, the wind's blowing. So Ozzy right now is trying to impress me. He's trying to be like, hey, there's some treats over here. You want to come see some treats? Come here, Mama. There's some pretty treats over here. So he thinks I'm one of his girls. He attacks me every once in a while, but he definitely almost always goes after Bill my husband Bill if he uh, gets a chance to but I think it's because he thinks I'm his he's very pretty so Ozzy is a blue rooster that's his color the brown girls in the back they are what's called buffs they're all silkies and the little white spotted girl she is a splash is Ashes. He is right here. This little baby is Cindy. She's named after Cindy Lopper. And I don't know where Miley is. I'll show you Miley if I find her. But all these white, all these are white babies. These are new babies to our flock. I got them as chicks from a breeder in Southern Massachusetts and her, um, you can find her on Facebook under Swanky Silkies. She's also on Instagram and her babies, you can see her babies are absolutely gorgeous. So we got six and of course four of them are roosters and I only have two little hens, but um, so I'll only probably keep two of the best boys and the other two boys will will try to find homes for them. And they will, nobody's laying yet. I think August, September, October, November, December. So they're only, the white ones are only four months old. So they are not laying yet. But they really are pretty, you guys. I'm really happy with them. There is, so see that one silky here? That's a little boy. And he has what's called leakage. So he was white and then all this other coloring came out. And I'm gonna have to check with some other breeders. I'm a new breeder. So I don't know if this is another type 
of silky. I've seen people say red pile, but I need help with that. But I won't be able to breed him. He's definitely one of the boys that's probably gonna find another home, but he is gorgeous. And my mother-in-law just loves him. He's so pretty. <laughs> this is a little hen and she, she's being mouthy, really mouthy. And this is a little boy. So you may be wondering how I can tell at this young age if they are boys or girls. Two of the babies crowed in the brooder. So I had a pretty good idea that they were boys, even though I've heard that girls can sound like a crow too. At this point, you can kind of tell. Four months old, you have a really, I mean, you're like 99% sure for a silky. Silkies are really hard to sex. Now I'm gonna show you guys my black pair. They, uh, I've been gathering eggs, so I didn't put them with the other flock. I wanted to be sure I just got black. And so they are, they are in my brooding pen that I have here in our covered chicken yard. And they are so pretty. They're so pretty. So hold on, let me show you. We named them after Johnny Cash and June Cash. We thought that was appropriate. Hello. So Johnny's on the left and June is on the right. Now, Again, I have to reach out to some uh, brooder friends that I, or breeding friends that I have. Because see the, Johnny has some lighter feathers on his neck. And they're silverish, which I think is appropriate for a breeder, but I have to check. So I may eventually keep him. Oh, there's a bird in here. How in the world did a bird get in here? So I have to check and see, but uh, right now we're gonna use him this year probably, unless I can find another breeder one, but he is so cute. He's such a good boy. And little Miss June, she's usually really, really chatty, really opinionated. Gonna give you a quick tour. Everything looks so different now if you look at our past videos and it's just the way Vermont is. Here's one of our perennial gardens. Looks pretty sad right now. I'll have a lot of cleanup to do in the spring. And uh, you guys will be following along because I don't know, everything just seemed a little too crowded this year. So I'm gonna have to make some adjustments and we'll bring you along. This is our main coop and it has a covered chicken yard and I'm slowly replacing the plastic with that clear roofing material. You guys, I no longer have our bachelor pad. I ended up having 12 roosters at the end of the summer. They went to new homes or they went to bins. The greenhouse is shut up for the winter. We use it for all of our gardening storage and stuff and i do have some of my outdoor succulents in there but um yep i don't have to worry about that right now it's kind of the nice thing in vermont when winter comes there's a lot of things that you don't have to do i was feeling a little overwhelmed last fall because i always feel bad if i don't get stuff done and there's always so much to do so Winter is kind of a break time. Here's the back field that we just had cleared this summer. This was all overgrown with stumps and undergrowth and all kinds of stuff. That right there, I can't, a sawhorse or something, I can't remember the name of it, but he puts our trail cam on there. We have another three acres behind us and back behind this ridge is our year round stream. So we've caught deer right here. We caught an otter on video right here. And I'll share that with you guys too. This is what we use for heat in our house. We have electric backup, but 
it takes us between four and five quarts to heat the house for the winter. Um, I think it'll be less this winter. I'm hoping it'll be less this winter. I think we're supposed to have a mild winter. So far, that's been the case for the fall. We will see. And if you've been following along with us guys, this is the deck that my husband Bill designed and built. And he did such a good job, such a good job. These pillars here are actually planters. We'll be having plants in the top of them. They'll be so nice with like petunias and stuff. And the bottom is storage. And right here we have some wood that is easier for me if I need some wooden house and I've gone through it faster than Bill can put it up. And so um, we have some here along with what I showed you guys before. And we're not completely done with it. As you can see, we did a makeshift bottom step. There'll be a platform here that will step down. But uh, yeah, like I said, there's so much to do. So much to do. And one of our joys, guys, is birds. We love birds. Cause I can't move on. Why did she go? Whoa. Was I supposed to know that she'd leave? Was I denied to think that she'd be the one? So that's our video for today, guys. We really appreciate you watching and sorry it's taking me so long to do an update, but here you go. And I promise that I will get more out there so you guys can kind of follow what we're doing and what we're up to and the crazy stuff that always happens on the farm. So we hope you have a great day. Please be safe and well out there and take care. And we'll see you soon. Bye.